Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the mighty clay. You set my feet upon a rock, and now I know that I. I'll never let you go You're my Savior And my closest friend I will worship you Until the very end Lord, I love you And I need you Though my world may fall, I'll never let you go. You're my Savior, my closest friend. I will worship you until the very Man. 
everywhere No, 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 no I want my eyes upon you So you can lead me with your eyes So you can lead me with your eyes A tenderness inside Do you look A sensitivity A leaning into you pressures and come Oh, give me grace to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh Oh, give me grace to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh Give me grace to express my love by being obedient Lord, guide me with your eyes
a hundred times more free.
yourself Oh, 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 oh. It's the fruit's gonna come from my life Well, I know that it's gonna come when I die to myself To myself
Heavenly Father, we thank you that you're filling up our cups this morning. Lord, we lift them up to you and say, fill us completely, God, with you. We want to move and live and have our being all day in you and your Son and the Holy Spirit. I want to read from the Gospel of John, verse 6, chapter 1. There came a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify about the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light. Heavenly Father, I ask you to send forerunners like John the Baptist or into every city in America. God, that that city could say God sent messengers to us, clear, strong voices, or that witness not to themselves, but they witness to Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. God, I ask that this house, Lord, would be forerunners according to the pattern of John the Baptist. Lord, this house could be filled with witnesses who testify about the light, that everyone who sees us and knows us and interacts with us in the least, Lord, they would all believe about you. Lord, we ask that you raise up the consciousness of who we are in Christ, that who we are to this generation as forerunners. God, grace me, grace us to move in our inheritance in Christ. God, we want to be spokesmen for you, filled up as we worship you, poured out as we witness for you. God, we want to have people looking at us, seeing our good works, and glorifying our Father who's in heaven. God, we want people to hear our words. God, wholesome words that produce life inside of them. But we want to be planters. Help us, God. But we don't want to waste this Saturday. We want to be your messengers this Saturday. In Jesus' name. Lord, to every house of prayer across the globe, you would send evangelists. 
men who are soaked and saturated with an affection for you, God, who long to linger in the house of prayer and touch you and then be poured out to the world. God, send forth workers into your harvest. God, send them out. Send them out from the houses of prayer. God, send evangelists to develop a life of prayer, to commune with you deeper than they ever have before in their life, to then fulfill their ministry calling, God, being sent from the house of prayer to the lost world. God, send forth workers into your harvest, I pray in Jesus' name. Call forth your evangelists, raise up workers to work in the fields of harvest. Last day's Labor. spokesman, let them be set in your house. Oh, Not let afraid. them be set in your house, oh God. Bold, the field is wide anointed men and women, just like Anna who served you night and day. Yes. And then went forth to tell all that she met of this man, Christ Jesus. Raise up many, raise up many, God. Raise up many, God. To do the work of the evangelist. Grant to your servants boldness. If your desire that all would come to the knowledge of the truth, you partner with your heart, Lord of the harvest, raise up your laborers and send them out send them into out. the harvest, Lord of the harvest, raise up your laborers. We and pray send what you told us to pray into the Lord of the harvest, raise up your laborers, dedicate and send them out into lovers of God. the harvest. Voices. Lord of the harvest, Loud voices. raise up your laborers and send them out, send them out. into the harvest. Lord of the harvest, raise up your laborers and send them out. Lord Jesus, that you would cause a shifting in our minds, in our hearts, in our spirit, Lord Jesus, that we may know who you are and comprehend what you do for us, Lord. 
Father, we just ask, Lord, for an outpouring of your power that we may see salvation, that we may see healing, that, we, that you would touch us with signs and wonders, Lord Jesus, like never before. Father, we ask that you encounter us, that individually, every person in this nation, they would encounter us through you, through the, through the touches of you, Lord Jesus. Father, we ask, Lord, that you would draw us near to you, Lord Jesus, that we may see your face. Father, we just ask, Lord, that you bring revelation to us and that, Lord, that you would bring revelation. Father, that you would, that we would bring revelation to be filled in the fullness of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Bring revelation, Lord Jesus. Send your love, Lord. Oh God, to comprehend your love. Bring understanding, Lord. How wide and how high, how deep and how long is your love? Signs and wonders, Lord Jesus. Signs and wonders in your name. Salvation. Stretch out your hand that this city would be saved. Send forth salvation even today. Lord Jesus. Lord, with great power, Father, let, Father, we ask that we call forth teachers and preachers that would be unashamed of the gospel, that you would preach the word with boldness and passion. Father, we just ask, Lord, that your word would run swiftly through our nation, Lord Jesus, to bring salvation. We ask God in Jesus' name. Raise up your preachers, your messengers.
out of Colossians 1. We ask that we may be filled with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that we may have a walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to your glorious power, Jesus, for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to you, Father. You've qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light, and you've delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of Jesus and his love, in whom we have redemption through your blood, the forgiveness of sins. Father, 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 Father. Lord, today, today, let today be the day of salvation for our families. Father, Father, they don't know Jesus as the only way. Lord, we're asking to be strengthened. We're asking God to be strengthened with the knowledge of Jesus Christ that today, that knowledge, God, that when we take it, that our families would hear this good news. There's one way to the Father, it's Jesus. And all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And our sin is separating us from a holy God. Father, Father, the thought of my family not being with you. Jesus, today, that thought is too much to bear. That thought is too much to bear. That you sent your only son, Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you paid a high price that all people might be saved if. Oh God, it's the if. Today, knowing that my family doesn't know you, Jesus, is almost too much. God, I'm asking today, put that, grip that in my heart. That we need to be strengthened with the knowledge of Christ. Because people around us are perishing. And God, in my family, that's people in my family. Lord Jesus, I'm asking, I'm asking, Father, use us to save souls today. I'm asking, Father, use us, use us on behalf of our families today. Let today be the day of their salvation, God. Lord, I come, use us, save souls. The fear of man, give us the fear of the Lord. Send forth your light, send forth your truth. You brought us into your kingdom of light. Bring them into your kingdom of light. Transfer them from the kingdom of darkness. Oh God, we want to feel the Jesus, Our give families. us grace to be 
faithful witnesses of Jesus. Give us grace to be faithful witnesses of Jesus. Give us grace to be faithful witnesses of Jesus. Give us grace to be faithful witnesses of Jesus. Give us grace to be faithful witnesses of Jesus. Give us grace to be faithful witnesses of Jesus. Give us grace to be faithful witnesses that they might be saved.
them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. Yes, give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. Yes, give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. Yes, give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. Yes, give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. It today, give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. Give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. Give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus. Give them grace to turn from their sin and say yes to Jesus, oh God.
former days when you would weep with me when you would feel my heart when you bore my burden for your family for your city my precious intercessor do not shrink back because you feel weak and insufficient your heart and your strength may fail but I am the strength of your heart I am the strength of your Do not shrink back. 
we declare it the only way Jesus is the only way
Father, we enter the throne of grace and we desire to be witnesses to you. Lord, we desire that the light in our hearts would get turned up and that we would not shrink back from the spirit of the age. Your word says you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. So Lord, here we are. We desire to be light. Father, I ask, as we tarry in this house, that this word would come true. Your word says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you're endued with power from on high. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and to the ends of the earth. So, Father, I ask you to bring us a fresh baptism of your Spirit. Empower us to be witnesses, God. Make us lights on the top of the table. Give us boldness from on high, Lord Jesus. God, I ask that you would turn the flame up. Bring in a new normal, Lord. I ask for a new normal. I ask for a new boldness. I ask for a new flame that's turned up. In Jesus' name.
is grand. Us Send the helper, boldness. Lord. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Grant us boldness. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Grant us boldness. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Grant us boldness. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Grant us boldness. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Anoint us to be witnesses. Grant us grant us boldness. teams that go out from Psalm 33 and Ephesians 1 Psalm 33 says the counsel of the Lord stands forever the plans of his heart to all generations blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen as his own inheritance the Lord looks from heaven he sees all the sons of men from the place where he dwells, he looks. He's watching all of the inhabitants of the earth. And he fashions their hearts individually. He considers them. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. He is our help and our shield. Most beautiful God, we lift up to you today our city and every unsaved soul. Lord, today is the day of salvation for many in our city. Today is the day, God, where you yourself, as you look down from your lofty, holy place, you see the hearts and the works of men. You have placed in every one of us, God, a longing that can only be met by your Son. So whether the heart is hard, whether the heart is soft, whether the heart is happy or broken, they still have a longing that can only be met by Jesus. And you, Father, you are the one with the longing in your heart that every man should know your Son. That every, every man, woman, and child, young or old, hard or soft, should know Jesus. For this is eternal life, that we would know you and your son. So today, Father of glory, I ask you as you look down on this city, pour out your spirit give to the people of this land the spirit of wisdom and revelation of the knowledge of your son Jesus today father we ask for souls today father we ask for the longing of their hearts to be so intense that they cannot do anything else but cry out to you are you real God do you really see me are you really caring are you really loving Today, God, I ask you for divine illumination on the hearts of men in our city. Today, God, I ask you for divine illumination of the revelation of your son on the hearts of the drug addicts, the drug dealers, the prostitutes, the pimps, the bankers, the lawyers, the doctors, the firemen, the policemen, the school teacher, the children, the young adults, the teens. Today, God, I ask you for our city, for divine favor. Today, God, I ask you for divine light and illumination. Would you command your light to shine today? The face of your son, the revelation of his heart, the revelation of who he is and that he's coming and how he loves them. Would you today, good shepherd, direct their hearts into the love of you that they might know you 
all the days of your life. Today, God, would you pour out your spirit with a revelation of Jesus that causes our hearts to know the greatness of your power if they will but believe. Today, God, is the day of salvation in our city for many, many hearts that are lost. Today, God, I ask you to break in with power, miracles, signs, and wonders. Today, God, I ask you to do what is in your heart the longing of your heart for that one that is sitting lost miserable today God I ask you that you would pour out your spirit on our teams that leave from this house that they would be bright and burning shining lamps and dude with power from your heart to speak your word with boldness and clarity that many will come to know you today Today, God, I ask you to shift the atmosphere in our city and bring in souls for your kingdom. Today, God, I ask you to shift the atmosphere in circumstances, in people's lives. And I ask you, Lord, to bring them into light, the light of your son, the revelation of your heart, that they might know you, that they might be prepared and made ready for the day of his return. Today, God, I ask you, that you would answer the prayers of this house, that you would save souls in our city, that you would break in with divine wisdom, might, and power, that today, God, you would start a shift in the atmosphere of this city that releases revival like never before, that eyes would see and ears would hear the revelation of your holy heart, that today, God, the longing of your heart would be met in the soul people in our city. Today, God, I ask you to break in. Release with wisdom and revelation the revelation of the beautiful God-man. Today, God, save that drug addict. Save that banker. Save that doctor, that lawyer. Save that young adult who is broken and lost. Save the children in the foster care system. Today, God, release revelation over our city and release revival in Jesus' precious name. Command your light to shine. Command that light to shine, Father. Fashion their heart after your son. Bring them in. As your intercessors, we partner with you and we say, let there be light. Let there be light. Light. Bring it shift, bring it shine.
city as God releases his power on it. Pray for us that the word of the Lord would run swiftly, rapidly, increasing in its influence and power, and be glorified, confirmed with apostolic power and miracles, just as it is with you. The Lord, he is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God, into the patience, perseverance, and endurance of Christ. Jesus, we say we love you. Jesus, we ask release salvation. Father, we're asking that you would strike from heaven, that you would illuminate hearts, Lord, that you would pierce the darkness that you would send the Holy Spirit to soften hearts. Jesus, will you grip hearts? Will you give dreams? Will you give revelation? Will you show up in visions, Lord? Will you come to the broken and show them there is a way of hope? Jesus, we're asking. We're asking your heart, Lord. This is you. This is what you want. So we are joining with your heart and we're saying yes. Will you release salvation in the earth? Will you let your word run swiftly? Lord, your word says that you look out to perform your word. That you are willing that none should perish. No, not one. Jesus, will you come against the enemy? your great enemy, our enemy. Will you snatch souls from the jaws of his mouth? God, will you pierce those people who are so caught up in lies? They believe lies about you, about themselves, about everything around them. They're in such confusion. Father, will you release light? Will you shine into their darkness and show them hope? Will you soften the hardened heart? Release salvation in Jesus' name.
there's so many of us that our heart longs for those in our family and those we love that don't know you, Jesus. Lord, I'm asking that you would send them dreams and visions, God, that you would appoint people, timely appointments, Jesus, divine appointments, people to speak into their hearts, that you would give us the word, the word of God, the word that pierces, Lord, because it's you, Jesus, it's not us. Jesus, as those who are on the street and in the highways and the byways of life, God, will you give us words of wisdom and words of knowledge Will you let us see things? Will you let us speak your love into the life of people that we may draw you, draw them to you, Jesus? Lord, we're asking, set up divine appointments. Fill our mouths with your love, with the thing that needs to be spoken to them, Lord, that will pierce, that will grip them, Lord God, that will... Turn them to repentance. Jesus, save souls here in Kansas City and in our families' lives. Father, release dreams and revelations. Release divine appointments. Release your beauty and your love into the hearts of men and women. In Jesus' name.
you know the way I am the If you love me, 